All right. So we're in Austin, and we're, uh, this is a quilt that was done um, by the Women's Auxiliary here in Austin, and she's the president for the state, and she thought it'd be great to start building a quilt that had all the shirts of all the fire departments in the state of Texas that have adopted our program and have pink fire shirts now. Um, this is not all of them. This is the only ones that she got to turn in because we know there's like 80 or 78 uh, cities now that have adopted our program and are now out there selling shirts and keeping the money themselves to give to organizations in their own communities. Again, like I said, this is free. We're just trying to stimulate people and inspire people to get out and do more for those people struggling from cancer. And then uh, I said just now and a minute ago on the radio or on the TV that if we classified cancer as a terrorist, what would we do to it? We would get rid of it. And we need to start selflessly supporting these people that are going through cancer um, and let them know we love them by at the very least wearing pink, especially for our women. And then let's, let's, let's go. Let's go after it. Let's find a cure. There's a lady right here I want to show you real quick here. Lynn Murphy, Mishkaw, Indiana, breast cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, endometrial, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, malt lymphoma, skin. And she walked away like stepping on her toes, just shoulders way in the air, prouder than hell. And she says, I beat them all. Come and get me. She just loves her life. She's full of just all that love and, and she appreciates the truck so much. So um, we're almost done with the tour. Next year, we'll see you again. Talk to you.